Okay, thank you. Hey, I'm Bhaskara Mamuthi. Actually, I have the system integration practice and the cloud adoption within Cognizant. I have been working with healthcare for last 25 years, so, so it, uh, under various areas. I know, I think today we are here to discuss about the authorization process. I know, I think uh, for any payer or a provider here, the top 10 <laughs> challenging area is with authorization. So how this whole process traditionally does like various uh, manual interventions and that uh, forms in the middle of the cost and the care balance is always getting impacted due to some of those uh, back and forth manual process within the authorization. So now with the Gen AI and the new technology, how we can optimize this whole process. So I think uh, to start with, I am from Cognizant and we have our uh, products, which is our Trizado, which is where predominantly we gave the facets, QNext and around 30 plus uh, health, healthcare payer and provider administration products. So it pretty much supports around like 20 out of 25 plans and uh, uh, almost like 200 plus million lives is in on our uh, products. So we uh, partner with AWS, we install all our uh, products on AWS and we use as various services, uh, our uh, one of the key platform uh, where our top uh, nine out of 10 uh, plans use us a uh, platform called Facets. I think we had been installing Facets over AWS, leveraging the AWS native services. Uh, with that said, let's get into our topic, the need for prior authorization process, right? Uh, some of these stats says that 94% of physicians says prior authorization needs to be optimized or 46% of the uh, emergency visits can be better handled uh, with, with a proper optimized process for the prior authorization. So what we are doing is like earlier, we, our solution, what we are uh, bringing into is like, uh, we have a way to match the authorization with the claims, right? I think that is one of the biggest problem with those uh, payers. So we had introduced a, a chatbot kind of solution that can be installed over our platforms that will optimize your uh, claim to the authorization match, okay? That is what we are going, having a demo in our booth. So if you are interested, we can demonstrate like, okay, how we have been doing those uh, match and how we have been optimizing those match by leveraging the fuzziness that we have been associated with Gen AI. So earlier uh, this year, we uh, worked along with AWS and we had documented the end-to-end -end flow, the business flow of this whole authorization. If you see that picture, it is a pretty complex one, right? Right from the place of service where we are having the uh, patients getting into an hospital. So, and then it has goes through multiple uh, by, uh, back and forth manual inter interventions where we need a lot of uh, clinical editing documents and all those things. And before it goes back to the payer for the claim payment. So what we had done is like, we had identified the areas where we can leverage Gen AI that will uh, enhance us or optimize us the whole business processes, right? We had identified various lime, uh, areas, right? Like matching an art to the claim or the clinical summary, like an encounter simulation. That is where your medical necessity and all those things comes in, right? Like uh, even we are seeing a lot of regulations focused on that to expedite some of these prior authorization process. So yeah, where we will do an encounter simulation using Gen AI and we can uh, get those medical necessity condition identified before we trigger those authorization. Then the documenting the author, uh, events and decision making, this is one area where there are like a lot of back and forth between the payers and providers. Say even we had a discussion earlier, the provider was saying that, yeah, I got an auth, but by the time I got my auth approved, it takes like one week. And then I, I, by the time I go and work with the patient, the diagnosis got changed. So I need to start with that. So, so what we are doing is like, yep, some of these events can be automated using Gen AI, then a validation of missing documentations, right? A lot of back and forth is due to missing documentation. So based on the service that has been offered, we, I, we leverage the Gen AI to get those documentations accurate. And the last one is like summarizing your clinical notes and uh, converting your clinical notes into your uh, code base, the CPDs or your diagnosis codes, right? So, yep, now I think we have built the solution to optimize the 
claim to the authorization match. So how we are done is like the claim and auth get matched based on various parameters, right? Like the CPT codes or diagnosis codes or various other parameters that we use to match it. Traditionally, the system uses the discrete algorithm, right? Yeah, there is a code for this for auth and there is a code for in the submitted in the claim. Okay, match it. If it is not there, it is go and pen for your uh, claim examiner. So they have to spend a lot of effort and time to analyze that, okay, to what it is. So where those uh, uh, mismatch happens is like, okay, I got an auth. Uh, might be an office visit for uh, 45 minutes uh, counseling, right? But uh, the claim might be coming with a office visit of 15 minutes counseling, right? Then your system is not able to match. So what you are bringing in with the Gen AI is like we are building a service using Bedrock, AWS Bedrock services with a cloud. So that what it is going to do is like it is bring out the equivalent services, equivalent CPT codes or diagnosis codes associated with those claims and it enhances the authorization. So we have uh, built this uh, solution. We, we You can see a demo in our booth, right? So in fact, I think this helps to optimize this whole match process. We, uh, this particular, the next slide, as like how we leverage that, right? We build this over our uh, Trisoto platform, which is facets, and then we are uh, leveraging the uh, AWS API, and we leverage the Amazon Bedrock uh, services. So the beauty of that service is like it gives you a package. It uh, encapsulate all your complexities that lies within your uh, LLM integrations, right? You need not write all your low-level programming uh, to uh, invoke your LLM. Rather, I think we leveraged uh, the Bedrock services capability and uh, to invoke this LLM and we are able to get those results. And uh, we uh, we are able to put a rag in this so that we are getting a pre-formatted output from your LLM and thereby we are able to get uh, enhanced match for your authorization, right? So with that said, I think this is our uh, high level overview of our solution or what we have built and uh, what are all the um, AWS services that we had used to build this is like we have, we have a Lambda function. So the Lambda functions, in fact, invokes the Bedrock services to invoke the cloud. And then uh, over top of it, we had built an API gateway. And this can be exposed to any of your claim platform. This whole platform we have built within like uh, four to six weeks and it's been completely operational, all right? So if you are interested, in any of these areas, right? We have been looked at five or six areas. In fact, I think the detailed study we have found out around close to like 20 to 30 areas where we can leverage the Gen AI to optimize some of this uh, authorization matching. Right, these are some of those benefits of our solution, right? Like, uh, and based on how we leverage Gen AI and how we are able to optimize this whole prior authorization process because this is one of the uh, top five or top 10 pain areas between both for your providers and their payers, right? And uh, yeah, that concludes our uh, session. Thank you. Thank you for listening to us. And uh, you can always reach out to us. Uh, yeah, we are there in the booth demonstrating the solution and uh, we are happy to help you out in uh, optimizing your whole business process around authorization. Thank you.